Okay, hey there folks, uh, it's Mr. Finley. Um, you're going to be getting an assignment pretty soon to create a found poem. So that raises this question, what's a found poem? Uh, before we can really answer that question, we need to figure out what poetry is. It's hard to make a certain type of poem until we have an idea of what poetry in general is going to be. So, the definition we have for poems, and here's the problem, people have been trying to come up with a good definition for poetry since like Aristotle thousands of years ago, but the big idea that we have is that poetry is when you use language for more than just getting an idea across. In an essay, you're trying to get a basic thought across to the audience. But the thing is, language is more fun than that. You can do more with language than just get a series of facts and opinions across to the audience. Uh, you can play with the sound of it. You can play with the rhythm of the words. Uh, you can make images, so you're sort of painting with the words. So that's what poetry does. Poetry is when you use language for more than just the word's meaning, but you're using it for the sound, the rhythm, all of those kinds of things. So there's lots of tools that we're going to get into this year about how you can use language for more than just its meaning. They have fancy names like alliteration and assonance and consonance and all those sort of fun-sounding things. But it all comes down to just ways that you can use language for more than just getting the basic meaning of the word across. Um, you may be very used to poems that rhyme, and that is one of the big ways that uh, you can play with sound. The way that sounds echo one another or rhyme is one of the big fun things you can do with language. But not all poems have to rhyme. Uh, that's just one of the many things you can do to play with language. So when you think about poetry, <clears throat> you can think of it as a sort of writing where instead of using words as tools, you're using them as toys. Uh, you're beginning to play around with some of the aspects of language, like how they sound, sometimes even how they look on the page, or the images that they might conjure up in your head. Uh, all of those ideas, rather than just the straightforward dictionary meaning of the word. Um, <clears throat> sometimes writing poetry is a little bit harder because we're not used to playing with language so much as just using it like you'd use a tool. Uh, so a found poem, is particularly easy because you don't even have to come up with the words. In a found poem, you start with an existing text, some piece of probably very serious writing <clears throat> that is not a poem, and you go through and you find bits and pieces, words and phrases that you think are fun, that conjure up an image of some sort in your head, or maybe just the word sounds fun. Maybe you don't even know what it means exactly, but you really like the sound of it. So you go through one of these texts, and you pick and choose out lots of quotes, and you mash those together, and you play around with them, maybe you repeat a few of them, and you turn that serious piece of writing into a poem that is more fun, plays around with the sounds of the words. The pieces that you're going to be turning into a found poem will be those This I Believe essays that we looked at. So each team is going to go through a few of those essays, pull out quotes, and arrange those together in a way that feels fun or interesting, or maybe brings up an idea that wasn't in the initial essay, maybe reflects on it in a different way, a fun-sounding way. But you don't have to come up with any actual words. You're just taking the pieces out of the existing essays and using them as toys rather than tools. I'll give you a really quick example of how this works. Um, I've got here this incredibly boring Wikipedia article about potatoes. Um, I, I literally tried to find the most boring article I could. Uh, so, come back, potato article. Come back. Where are you, potato article? There we are. So, this is the actual words as tools article. Potato. The potato is a starchy, tuberous crop from the perennial Solanum tuberosum of the Solansae family, also known as the nightshades. The word may refer to the plant itself as well as the edible tuber. In the region of the Andes, there are some other closely related cultivated potato species. Potatoes were introduced outside the Andes four centuries ago and have become an integral part of much of the world's cuisine. 
It's incredibly boring, isn't it? It's talking about potatoes, anyway. But you can take bits and pieces out of that and turn it into a somewhat silly, but nonetheless a poem, like this. Potato, potato, starchy, tuberous, perennial. The plant itself, cultivated. Introduced outside the Andes, outside the Andes, cultivated. Potato, oh potato, cultivated potato. Now, clearly that is a very silly poem because it's about potatoes and potatoes are silly. But you get the basic idea. You're taking words and phrases out of one thing and putting them into a form that plays around with their wordness rather than just their meaning. Their meaning's part of that. But also the sound, the rhythm, it all goes together to make a found poem.